going to mug me. I might get a mug you. Is that gorgeous or what, eh? And I believe I can run the Chief of Marathon. Download Veely now. Dominic and his cousins Patricia and Maria dream of a cottage where their big Italian family can retreat together. We're all cousins. We love each other so much. We're like, we're best friends and we get along, but sometimes we don't agree on everything. Each has their own priorities and they won't back down from what they want. So who gets this bedroom? This is the biggest room in the house. It's mine. Why? Because I said so. Oh, forget it. They've got a budget and a wish list. Now it's time to find out what's for sale. Dominic, Patricia, and Maria are first-time cottage buyers hoping to pool their money together for a family getaway. We're looking for a property that will accommodate our family because when we get together, there's just not enough space in our homes. So we're looking for somewhere where we can all go to and just have a great old time. This cottage is going to be for the three of them and all of their family to enjoy all year long. So I have to find a cottage that could sleep 20 people. That's a lot of people, and I have my work cut out for me. Our budget is between 700 to 900,000, and we're looking for a cottage that's very spacious. The first property I'm gonna take them to is on White Lake. I think it's the perfect one for them because I have a feeling these guys are gonna be really loud. This one's on a peninsula with 3,400 feet of frontage. It's got four bedrooms and two bathrooms. List price, $825,000. After you. Thank you. Thank you. After you. Thank you. After you. Mmm. This looks small. Like, it looks really small and narrow. Mmm. Lots of brass. I... <laughs> so we don't like brass. No. No. But look at these high ceilings. I like the wood. They are nice. I like, yeah. I like the high ceilings. I really do. Doesn't this feel like a nice open space where nine of you can like sit around, look at the beautiful wood-burning fire place? I like the it's too confined. I find it, yeah, narrow. It's, it's narrow. It's narrow. Yeah. I'm just thinking of there's so many of us. Right. That like, I don't want her husband to be sitting on my lap. Right, that would be uncomfortable. Yeah. I'm sure so, for all. But um, yeah, I just find it a little narrow. I don't think it could fit our family, whole family in here. Not nine, not 20. So I know cooking is probably a big thing yeah. for you. So let's go see the kitchen, and I think you're going to be impressed. A little small. I like, the, I, mean, I like the countertops are nice. They're nice. But yeah, it is. It is small. small. Not all of us can fit, or at least not four or five can fit. Like one needs to prep, one needs to cook. It's just too confined in there. I can stay out of the kitchen. <laughs> okay, but this is a cottage, right? right? So at the cottage, you can't expect to have that big kitchen that you have at home. Right, but yeah. it could be a little bit bigger. Like, Give us some of this. Okay, well, let's talk about dining. A dining room is very important, I assume, for that family of nine. So go this way, and I think I will now show you what is the perfect dining room for your family. Hey, bada boom, bada bing. No bing. Perfect, perfect. It's not. Perfect dining room for a family of your size. It's too small. I can't even fit with the chair over here. I do like that there's a separate room for the dining area, but still, it's too small. But where okay. do we put the other 11 people when they come? Oh, well, why don't you turn around and look right there? These guys need to realize that when they're at their cottage, they're gonna be outside most of the time. I think if I can get them past that, they might fall in love with this place. Oh, this is nice. This is big. I can eat out here every day. You could have Jesus' Last Supper here. <laughs> That's oh true. God. We look, can. Look how big this is. It is nice outside. They've got all the privacy in the world and can make all the noise they want. This idea of a cottage being on the peninsula is a great idea. Some people go to the cottage to have campfires, swim in the lake. I don't care for those things. I want to go to the cottage and have a dance party and karaoke. It'll be a great deck to have a dance party, for sure. I think for sure. This is cottage country, after all. We're up here to relax, not listen to a bunch of Italians party at the waterfront. It's a nice size room. For the For the kids, kids yeah. yeah. For the kids, it would be nice. I'm sorry, but what, what's wrong with this room, like, being for an adult? It's 
Small. Small. The ceilings are high. I was gonna say. The ceilings are nice and high, but the it's just small. I mean, it's a bedroom. You're just gonna sleep in there at nighttime? That's it. We're not spending the whole day in the bedroom. Just keep that in mind. They need to see past it. The bedrooms are small. They need to see themselves on that deck, 3,400 feet of frontage in total privacy and seclusion. Ooh. Oh. This is nice and big, Dom. This, this is, is this bigger is, for you. This is bigger. This Very is nice. better. This does it. I mean, yes. this, this has got to be a king size bed. So who gets this bedroom? Me. If this is the biggest room in the house, it's mine. Why? Because I said so. Oh, forget it. <laughs> bedroom number three. This is good size. It's nice. I'll take this one. Awesome. Perfect. I will take this one. So we have Dominic's room. We have Maria's room. We have the kids' room. Now we just need to go upstairs and find out where Patricia and her family are going to sleep. Oh. Yay. I can't wait. Down that way. Oh, wow. Ooh, this is big. Very nice. This is big. Oh, I like this. I totally love this loft that's here. I can see the kids here. Me and Pete can be here as well with the kids. Is this going to be your room, Patricia? This is my room. I noticed something, though. What? There's no bathroom up here. That might not work with all of yeah. us. So yeah, no, there really only is one bathroom that services the entire house. Is that an issue? You major. Yeah. Yeah, nine people in one bathroom. OK, well, it's something to think about, right? Yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, we haven't even seen the waterfront yet. And that is one of the most important things to see, right? Let's go see the waterfront. I think you're going to be wowed. Yay! <laughs> Oh. So access from the cottage to the water is an important thing to consider. This will not be good for our parents. Yeah, it's okay, then they can stay up there. Never mind the parents, me. <laughs> These roots are a Dominic death trap. They're gonna make me trip and I'm going to fall into the lake. I can't see my mom or my dad walk down here. It's very hazardous, even the kids, they'll just trip and fall. This is nice. I love this. You know what? It's beautiful. I agree. I love this view. Oh, look at it. It's beautiful. Come on, look at this view. It is it's absolutely gorgeous. amazing. The view of the waterfront is amazing. It's breathtaking. It's You can just see yourself sitting there and just enjoying the view. This cottage is very spacious. It has a lot of bedrooms in here, but there is a lack of bathrooms. Where are we all going to shower? I don't personally want to shower in the lake, and I'm sure nobody else would like to shower in the lake either. If this cottage is at this price, I can't wait to see what the other cottages are going to be like. Dominic and his cousins Patricia and Maria are looking for one big cottage to share between three families. The first property I showed them had a huge waterfront. It's beautiful. Come on, look at this view. But the cottage failed to impress. It's too confined. I find it, yeah, narrow. It's, it's narrow. So I'm taking them across the lake. We're still on White Lake. This property is much different than the last one. It's actually got three different structures. It has a huge property and 780 feet of frontage. List price is at the top end of their budget at $895,000. So look at this. Nice high ceilings, nice open concept, big on your wish list. Nice big it's, kitchen counter. I thought the last cottage was small. This one is much smaller and it's too tight. It just looks too small. It's open, but it's small. It's so small. Yeah. yeah. So this is going to be a repeated problem with you guys because, you know, like nine people is a lot for a cottage. And I know the living space isn't that big, but at the end of the day, you're going to be spending so much time outside. There's so much to show you at this property. I just want you to keep an open mind. Okay. And let's go have a look. All right, perfect. Okay. Here's bedroom number one. It's a little small. It's tight. Bedroom number two. Okay, I'll be a little optimistic. It's cozy. Mm -hmm. No, I like it. It's so fun. Okay. Yeah. Good. <laughs> These bedrooms are really tight. Um, very smaller than the other cottage that we were at, definitely. There's no master bedroom in here, so where are we going to sleep? Oh, narrow. 
I'm coming. Wait for me. Wait for me. I didn't think it was that big down here. Yeah, no, so another living space. We've got two bedrooms, and you've got nice open space here with the walkout. It's feeling kind of tighter than the last cottage that we were at. Smaller. So you think it's too small? I think it so. might be. Okay. Like, yeah. So I thought that's what you were going to say. So there's lots more to see in this property. Let's head out there and let's see what else there is because I think you're going to be pleasantly surprised. Okay. Follow me. So based on what we saw so far in the cottage, I don't think this will work for us because of the so there are so many of us. So um, from what Rob is telling us, there's more to see. So I'm looking forward to seeing what he's got to show us. Yeah. Oh, look how nice that is. Wow. Oh my god, this is the party deck. God. Okay, so you guys want a place that you can entertain all 40 of your family members and friends? Perfect. You can fit like 120 of them up here. There's a stereo system, so you have sound down here, you have electricity, you're enjoying this view. I can picture all of us on there, all day and all night. <laughs> This deck is the dance floor. We're gonna put some music on, bring a little bit of bevies, and party all night. I love dance parties. We can have so much fun up there. So seeing this deck now, I really wanna make the cottage work. Mm -hmm. This is probably the selling feature for me right now. So, come on. You brought us to a garage. Yes, but what a spectacular garage. Wait till you see inside. Oh, wow, look at this. Oh, oh this, is huge. this is huge. This is what you call a monster garage. Yeah. Radiant in-floor heating. Oh, oh wow. nice. nice. Can you see you like using this space? Well, yes. it's big, yeah. <laughs> yes, like it, yes like, I can like, use it. We can use it. OK. Well, we can. Have a look over there. Have you ever ATV'd? No. Oh, somebody wow. here has. Oh, oh my god. Can't you see yourselves in this? Look at this. Come on. Come on. Seeing yourself getting on your ATVs. Everyone on an ATV. Come on. Let's go. Giddy up. Imagine those doors opening, and off we go right up the driveway, right into your 25 acres. This is what cottage life is all about. Who knew I wanted an ATV? Once I hopped on that baby, I was ready to ride. I know I want one now. <laughs> I would love an ATV. I think it would be so much fun. I know the kids would have fun just driving around and getting dirty. Okay, so we have this garage here. There's another garage there. And then guess what? What? I have even more surprises. Quit keeping us in suspense. Aren't we excited? Let's go take a look. Oh my God. <gasps> Look at the pool table. Oh, that's mine. I cannot believe what's above this garage. I am totally in shock. It's huge. It's beautiful. It's a whole other cottage. Come on, who expected this to I be didn't. here? I didn't. Not at, all. Not at all. So who is going to get this space? Me. I'm fine with the main cottage there. Oh, but great. Then these two fight it out. Maybe you can rotate, right? I like it that everybody has would have, the three families would have their own space. Space, that's right. One in here, one on the top floor of the cottage, one, one in the lower there. level of the cottage, right? That's awesome. This has a full kitchen, full bathroom, master bedroom, living area. Like, come on. They should buy this cottage because it is so unique and rare. Like for a family like theirs that want like three separate families to have their own space, this is the one. Sisters Patricia and Maria and their cousin Dominic want to buy one big cottage so that the whole family can share vacations. The first two properties offer different perks. Wow. Oh my God, this is the party oh deck. Oh God. And setbacks. It's open, but it's small. So confined. Yeah. Next, I'm showing them a gorgeous property on Little Redstone Lake. It's over 4,000 square feet and has beautiful waterfront. List price is under budget, $759,000. Great mudroom. Love it. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Ooh. Look at the kitchen. Walking into this cottage, this big open space, there's so much room in there that we can fit everybody. And we both agreed for the first time on that, on that area. 
I love the kitchen. The kitchen's so big. This is nice. A lot of counter space. This is really nice. Love it. This big open space kitchen, living room, dining room is perfect for a big Italian family. Oh, I love the fireplace. Yes. Like, look at the dining, how big the, ta the table is. It's huge. So right now, two, four, six, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. Perfect. So this, yeah, this would, this would work with for us. I thought that this was going to be a winner for you guys with the open concept. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Good. Good. Well, let's go see what else is on this floor. Okay. Oh, this is cozy. I like it. It'd be good for the it's kids. It's nice. Dominic, what I'm hearing when you say it's good for the kids is it's too small for you. It's a nice room, but I want something bigger for myself. Okay, well, let's keep going. Oh, I like it. I like the Wow. Outfits. Okay, so this room is bigger. It's, nice. yeah. it's bigger. I like it. And it's a perfect kids room. It is. Oh, all the girls love the bunk beds. I mean, you have two girls and one girl, so This one, is where they can two, sleep. Two, three. Perfect. That's perfect. 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 Awesome. Come on, more to see. Love it. OK, start oh, fighting. OK, got This it. is my room. Mine. Oh, there's a walk-in closet. Oh. oh. Hello, hello, hello. My favorite part of the master bedroom is the sunroom. The view you get from that sunroom is absolutely beautiful. Mm -hmm. and, uh, you may, and it's mine. My room. It's all mine. So tell me this is not worth fighting over. Yes, it is. I mean, look, look at the view. view. Oh. <laughs> this is beautiful. It's attached to my bedroom, so that's going to be my space. Oh, wow. Oh. Oh, nice. A little games room. Oh, wow. Look at this. Keep going. Keep going. Oh. It goes all the way around. Oh. Holy cow. Is there more bedrooms? Oh my. Wow. There's all spots where people can be, the family can be down here and you won't be on top of each other. There's a bathroom, laundry room. This is like one perfect basement. Let's go see this water. Look at this. Wow. This is a nice view. I love it. Flat, level, easy access, picnic table. Holy cow. A little bonfire. How about that view? Oh, this is gorgeous. gorgeous. Oh. Welcome to Redstone Lake. Oh. As you can see, no weeds. It's clear. It's clear. for swimming. Crystal clear. Sand beach, shallow entry, deep water, and look at this view. So we have south exposure, which means the sun's going to come up, and it's going to go like this, and it's going to set right over there. Oh. Sun all day down at the dock. And look at this gorgeous view. You just keep delivering, don't you? I do. You deliver and deliver. This cottage, to me, outweighs all of them. I think that this is the perfect cottage for them. This cottage and the other cottages have given us a lot to think about. Dominic and his cousins, Patricia and Maria, have seen three cottages suited to host their big Italian family for vacations and special occasions. Each offered a different arrangement of space as well as different amenities. Now, it's time for them to make a decision. So now that you've had some time to reflect, so we saw three properties. Let's start, I guess, with property number one, the one on White Lake that was on the peninsula. What are your thoughts on that property? Um, it was nice, big, open deck, speakers outside. Um, I like the upstairs. Um, the only thing I didn't like was there's only one bathroom. That was a downfall right. of the bathroom. And then to go down to the lake, it was really rough. The kitchen was much too small. The eating area, way too small. So then that will leave us with the second property on White Lake that had that awesome boathouse and party deck. And then we also have the one on Redstone that we saw. So Dominic, what did you think about the one on White Lake? I did like the fact that there were three separate living spaces, so we'd all have our own spot. The only thing I, I didn't like it is it wasn't all together. Mm -hmm. There were too many separate buildings on the property. I thought you would appreciate the fact that there was a whole separate cottage above the garage. Well, it, we don't mind being together. You just need to escape. And if you have to escape on the other side, it's too far. Too Everything far. was too far. Yeah. 
Okay, so then that leaves us with the Redstone Cottage. So what are our thoughts on that? That was my favorite one. Um, it would accommodate all of us. Uh, Waterfront. The view was awesome. The deck was nice. I wish it was a little bit bigger, but it was really nice. You can always expand on that though, right? Yes, the kitchen was huge. A big kitchen, nice big dining room area to eat in. And I like the fact that the living room was separate, like a sunken living room, and the kitchen was separate, so that we were not always on top of each other. It accommodates everybody. Like, I love it. Dominic? Yeah, I really like it. it. It would accommodate. There's enough space so everybody won't be on top of each other. Um, the kitchen was huge. Um, I, the view was breathtaking. And I was shocked by the water, how clean and clear it was. And you gotta remember, you know, you can always make changes to the house, but you can't change the property, right? right? Mm -hmm. That one had a sand beach, deep water, self exposure, all day sun, the usable space. Yeah. You know, and that cottage, you know, it was perfect for you guys. Yeah. So, have we made a decision then? Are we saying that we're ready to move <laughs> forward on the Redstone Lake Cottage? We can say right now, we're ready to go. We're ready to make that decision. But there's three other people we have to <laughs> consult. Our spouses. Oh, your spouse is going to say yeah. in the cottage. Uh huh. Send them my way and I'll <laughs> sell that cottage to them. Rob, we're really excited about this cottage. It's perfect for us. Like, you delivered. You delivered. I delivered. You delivered to your client. Thank you. Yeah. Rob found us the perfect cottage. We're so excited. Can't wait to bring up our spouses to come and look at the cottages. And the rest of the gang. <laughs> Can't wait to fall asleep in that master bed. <laughs> I am so happy that I was able to find this family their perfect cottage. I cannot believe these three finally were able to sit down and agree in the end. But I think this is the one. <laughs> <laughs>